And I was laying in bed like, should I wash my face? I'm so tired, I'm in my robe, I need to get up, I need to wash my face. And then 10 minutes later, I was like dozing, dozing, and then I heard pounding up the stairs. And I thought it was you and Stephanie drunk. I'm calling to them like, hello, 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 and there's no answer. And then at that moment, when there wasn't an answer, my heart started to get really tense. Like, you know, your, your stomach just kind of like knots up and you're like, okay, what's going on, what's going on? I knew something wasn't quite right. My door was open like this, and then I saw two guys holding another guy down in police uniforms, but right outside of my bedroom, five feet away. So I slid off my bed and picked up my phone and I'm like, I don't know how to call 911 in a different country. And so I like called Pascal, and then the guy came and grabbed the phone for me, threw me on the bed. And I was like, this is it. Then the concierge that I realized was the concierge, because he was handcuffed with the key to my room. What I've heard from talking to him afterwards is they said, you know, where's the rapper's wife? Like, let us up to her room um, in French. So he ended up being our interpreter because um, I couldn't understand them, they couldn't understand me.